Hey Kickstarter, we've successfully reached 1.7 million, unlocking the new cyber black color for the R600 series. A lot of you want to know what the R600 Pro can do, so today we're going to be demonstrating uh, six tests to take a look at the features. For this first demonstration, we're going to be testing the Xtreme fast charging function. As you can see, the input is around 576 watts. So because of the larger capacity on the Pro, it can be recharged from 0 to 100% in 1 hour and 40 minutes and the Pro plus the EF 1500 kWh LFP battery, it can be charged from zero to 100% in four hours and 30 minutes. There's been some concerns about using the Type-C function to charge something like a MacBook Pro. In the second test, you'll be able to see this demonstration. So as you can see, we charged the MacBook Pro for approximately 21 minutes and it went from 5% to 29%. Okay, on to test three. We're gonna be trying out the DC car charging port. All right, it's looking good. We we're able to fill balloons for over nine minutes with still tons of life left, so we're on to the next test. Some people are wondering what X-Boost can actually do. For the fourth test, we're gonna be testing out and seeing why this is a valuable feature. With X-Boost enabled, you can see that the R600 Pro will support the circular saw, but when X-Boost is off, the R600 Pro will trip the overload protection system. For test five, let's take a look at the difference between the heating speed of X-Link versus X-Boost. So as you can see, because X-Link provides a higher power output, the kettle can boil the water much quicker than with X-Boost. X-Link only supports electronics with heating elements, so you wouldn't want to power something like the circular saw with this. You can use X-Boost for that. So now we're on to the next test. Okay, test six. As you can see, we set up two groups. Group A on the left, which is just one R600 Pro. Group B on the right, which is an R600 Pro connected to the 1.5 kilowatt expanded battery. We're gonna test how long these two groups will support the kettles to run.
All right, the R600 Pro by itself ran the kettle for 62 minutes, but the R600 Pro plus the expanded battery ran the kettle for 183 minutes, which is nearly three times longer than the R600 by itself. It's worth mentioning that the overall discharge rate is lower than the final product due to the protection of our prototype. This wraps up this video and the test. Here at EcoFlow, we'd like to thank everybody for their support and feedback. This really helps us deliver the best possible product to you guys. Thanks again, bye.